You know, this is actually pretty exciting. Because we saw the cover character, and I guess everybody got it right. I kind of guessed on Lolly. Oh! Oh! Is that Flora? Okay, everyone like guess Jenny. There is something delightful about a nice picnic. Oh my god. Look at her thighs. They're pure white justice. Wait, she's armored and she has both. Right I mean, you already double on your base form, so I guess why not? Ah. Uh, I never have the time to see you. Look under the you look tree. very I different. Seize this opportunity. Those are very Japanese sandwiches. Japanese sandwiches, man, they love they love doing their triangles. Wow. You just one shot a landslide. Oh, look at her fine it's lolly so but I'm so happy. Is that Bambi? Wait a second. She's not riding on Bambi. Defense opening. Whoa. Does that mean she eats Bambi? Are those marshmallows? Man, I kind of wish it was like deer meat. Oh my god. Everyone says my cookies to die for. And then they laugh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, she's too fresh. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. So this is a uh, this is a spring batter. All right. Wait. Wait. Where? Th there's Leo. That piece of shit. Okay. Well, I guess he's in the game. You guys want to make some bets? Is Leo gonna be bad? Put place your bets right now. I will place uh, five gazillion pesos on that he's gonna be bad. Just like every Leo. Hey! Alright. Pretty excited about this. Uh, we'll go back. If you guys miss Leo, there he is. Okay. So when we first saw, there was another banner for um, around this time, April 19th. And then we saw the Dragilia Lost banner on the 25th. I was so certain it was going to be either Dragilia Lost or what Tempest Trial said. Tempest Trial said, Heartstrings Ties. And I was like, wow, that's like a marriage thing. Maybe early brides? Nope. 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 The two most obvious things are not what we're getting. We're getting this. A literal picnic banner. Anyways. I think this is pretty interesting. It's kind of cute. Um, that everyone going on a picnic. I liked how we have the two sisters, Flora and Felicia. I like how we have um, two Echoes characters. Which, I think these are the first Echoes characters ever to get alts. Um... Like, special heroes, alts. Salika doesn't count. Um, because there's a crazy one. Anyways. But, yeah, like... Jenny looks pretty cute. Luke looks pretty cute. Like... Wait, that's Lucas. Oh, my God. Lucas, there you go. Whoopsies. Anyways, we'll go over the heroes now. It's a, It come, come, kind of comes out of nowhere, is what I'm saying. But it's a, it's a pleasant surprise. And this is very Japanese sandwich-themed. Because you can see how, like perfectly triangular they are in the west nobody has patience to make triangle sandwiches anymore and i would totally eat flora's cooking man she is so beautiful oh oh my god i would love to take a nap on them thighs now somebody out there probably says nibs that's creepy no until you slept on a woman's thighs you cannot you cannot look down on me it is a very pleasant thing Anyways, man, that Japanese people are about the only people that I see who actually like actively cut the crust out. Man, these are so, such Japanese sandwiches like you would see in like Japanese convenience stores, but they look pretty good. Look at that sandwich on the left side. That's strawberry, mango, and kiwi. I think that's what it is. Strawberry orange and kiwi kiwi i don't either way and then with like mayonnaise japanese people love mayonnaise anyways anyways if it isn't obvious yet guys being armored in this game has lost all meaning <laughs> how does anyone want to explain to me how she's armored this girl is dressed for a picnic and she's classified as armored before you say her bag heavy you already know her stats are going to be that of an armored hero. Bag heavy doesn't make sense at all. Maybe it's those... 
like beautiful white thighs that grants her defensive powers. Who really knows? Anyways, she remains as the red dagger. Her bag heavy. Okay, shut up. All right. <laughs> what is that? Let's just start with what we know. Bold fighter armor march. Very, very not that you know impressive. A lot of heroes have armor marches. A lot of heroes have bold fighter. Great skills. Icebergs, whatever. Uh, her sister comes with Lacey's, and she comes with Iceberg. Whatever. What is that? A R D attack res three. Are you kidding me? I'm just shaking my head right now. More skills just for ether raids. <sighs> IS, why are you doing this? Do you are you like dead set on making ether raids a pay to win mode? Now guys, you might say, Nibs, that's not a crazy skill. And I'm gonna say to you, they keep putting skills out like this. It's a it's a pattern. This is not the first anymore. Anyways, it says, if defending an Aether Raids grants attack res plus X during combat, plus X, what does that mean? Calculates X based on number of your defensive structures, what? And if it's less, no, greater or equal to 5 structures, grants plus 10? What? 4 grants plus 7, 3 grants plus 4, 2 grants plus 1, and destroyed defensive structures are not counted. From what I understand, basically as... As long as we have defensive structures, defensive structures I think counts as like uh, healing towers, like tactics rooms, like whatever. So from what I understand now is as long as we keep our defensive structures alive, we get plus 10 attack and plus 10 rest. So, so nowadays when we go into ether raids, we have to like break down all the ether raids defensive structures. As much as I love floor, I find this banner to be very insulting. Only armors and more whale grease for our. Yeah, you you know get that Ricardo out of this. This is not Ricardo worthy. Okay, do I have anything against the skill? I mean, it's an immaculate great skill. My problem is this is an immaculate great skill that only works in ether raids. So if you want to deal with armor in ether raids now, gotta take down defensive structures. But here's the problem. What if they hide the defensive structures? Remember, you can put your defensive structures in the far, far back line. You could literally throw your armored heroes in front of your defensive structures. And if you do so, she has 10 extra attack, 10 extra res. So she's going to be difficult to take down. She is also the first hero of anti-beasts? What? Okay. So for the for the people who are like on that Radiant Dawn train, like Shinon, he's gonna be the first anti-beast hero. Uh, Jill, she's racist. She's gonna kill all the beast heroes with her anti-beasts. Like, oh god, come on. <laughs> it's literally a girl with a sandwich that's anti-beast first. <laughs> ISY. Alright, I guess beasts don't know how to eat sandwiches, and then when you throw one at them, they get scared and run away. Or maybe they eat it and they choke to death. Well. Well. Anyways, very interesting. Um, it makes sense. And at the same time, it doesn't make sense. This is such a cash grab banner, man. Come on. We haven't even looked at all the heroes, but I can already say that. ARD attack res 3. So good. Bullfire 3. Great skill. Armor march 3. Great skill. And this dagger. Uh, it's, it's her own dagger, but... Still, like, if you this is your first anti beast hero, so you're gonna find a lot of use for her. Uh, you can't transfer this, tr you can't transfer this, that's what I'm saying. Personal weapon, anyways. Um, grants attack plus three. Sorry, comment if units res is over foes, re uh, the foes res, just like her um, normal self, reduces foes attack defense by 50%. Oh, no, 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 it's not quite the same. Um, of difference between stats during combat, calculus reduction before combat, maximum death penalty minus eight. Basically, if, if you have enough res. Um, so if you have 16 more res than they do, you, uh, that's from my understanding. I might be wrong. If you have 16 more res than they do, you can reduce their attack and defense by 8. That's a ton. And then after combat, you can attack, Siren um, Dagger effects. That is a super good weapon. Man. I want her to make me a sandwich. If, if, if all her sandwiches are this powerful, I want all of them. 
Look at those apples and oranges and strawberries she literally shoots out. Oh, Flora. Oh my god. All right. Should I just skip on the spring banner? Because as much as I want Veronica, Flora just blows my mind. Number one, she has nice thighs. Number two, she can cook. Number three, she's anti-beasts. And number four, she has this bullshit skill for Ether 8. I'm kind of in love right now. Alright, whatever. We're, we're moving past the first hero. That took forever. Buffet for one. Luke ass with the flat a wait wait i was about to say flat ass greg chun the greatest of voice actors for males and then kiboon uh one of my favorite um artists in fire emblem period he drew owen he also drew reinhardt but i like to pretend he never did that so okay there's a fox there's a raccoon there's honey there's cookies there's more sandwiches man and there's there's a bird on his have, have you guys been noticing, like, we've been getting a bunch of characters with, like, birds on them. Or animals on them. There was Yune. Oh, Makai. <laughs> um, and then there was uh, Mord Mordecai. And now, of course, Lucas. Man. In Japan, guys, apparently they have, like, these uh, raccoon ca cafes. It's like a cat cafe, but except you go in and it's, like, raccoons. And then you get to drink and like eat stuff with fat raccoons around you. It's supposed to be very soothing. Anyways, <laughs> you didn't. Whatever. Lunch, lunch on Lance. If phony shits combat grants attack defense plus four during combat. This seems really similar to another other uh, weapons that we've gotten in the past, except instead of like everything plus two, it's attack defense plus four. Uh, I do like that because for a hero like Lucas is probably really really slow. That min maxing is a. Uh, is more much more important like attack and defense are, are probably his two most important st skills um sorry his stats so you don't really need to worry about anything else pivot pivots whatever you were gonna get it off of i don't know shirshi or something marth whatever uh nice to have i guess uh wary fighter 3 it doesn't really matter okay so so this entire kit for lucas is basically aro attack defense 3. Uh. i think we're about to see like a huge resurgence in armor heroes for sure, these are armor exclusive skills. I might be wrong. Uh, wait, I'm gonna double check. Yeah, he's armor. Um, for sure, they're armor exclusive skills. But that's super good. Plus 10 attack, plus 10 defense. I mean, it's it's the same idea as Flora skills. So I'm not gonna rehash it, but it's, it essentially, um, it's another pay to win eth ether raid skill in my eyes. Not a fan of it, but it's super good. Now you have to like destroy a bunch of obstacles before you fight heroes. I guess it adds another dynamic to the game, but I'm not sure about it. Like, not sure about. Oh my god. Okay, how cute is Jenny, guys? How cute is Jenny? And yeah, Lucas is pure pure fodder. Like the Lance is good. Uh, he probably will have good stats, but like his skills <laughs> skills probably just fodder skills. All right, she's super cute, right? See, this is the thing. I'm basically Bambi right now. See, normal animals will look to the food. They're like, I'm hungry. I want to eat shit. No. I'm a lollicon Bambi right now. Don't look at the food. Look at the girl. <laughs> Anyways, um, I really like how they, they're throwing in like all these uh, random animals nearby. She has giant ass, ash, ass marshmallows. Man, those marshmallows are bigger than her head. I wonder if she can fit that in her mouth in one bite. <laughs> I'm sorry. My, my mind wanders. And I just saw big marshmallows with a small girl. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, uh, those are some nice baked potatoes. Uh, there's some random birds on the ground. She has cute, um, cute shoes. Uh, nice legs, thighs, ni nice summer dress. Moving on. She's drinking tea. All right, anyways. Why do you ruin everything, Nims? I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I forgot to check. I was too busy paying attention to the lolly to check what she actually is. Cav, healer. All right, now I remember. Man. Okay. Her weapon is Toasty Skewer Plus. If foe initiates combat against an ally within two spaces. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. 
That is so good. That's like um, Hagota, right? Hagota's um, defense res plus two, as long as you're within two spaces. But Hagota is activated at all times, though realistically, you don't use Hagota offensively. Hagota on, or Hagueda, however you say it, on uh, New Year Azura. Jenny, however, gets additional defense and res, but it's only if your opponent attacks. So it doesn't work on attacking and defending. Interesting. I like Jenny's better because, number one, uh, New Year Azura is, uh, is a support hero as well. I get it. But, like, Jenny is literally a true support hero. As in, like, everything... Well, I guess dancers are, are also true support heroes, but they can always double t as a fighter. Jenny's probably never going to want to fight. But Jenny always hits really hard, so maybe she does. Okay, I don't know. I don't know her stats, so let's, let's not go into that tangent. Basically, what I'm saying is I like this a lot because she has to stay within two spaces, um, which is really easy to do. Defense res plus three is pretty significant. Physics plus is a pretty good skill, um, healing skill. Original Jenny has it too. She probably has a really high attack, so she heals a ton. Fire Flood Bomb plus attack res plus six. I mean, take it. That's nice to have. Wrathful Staff three, take it. Also nice to have. Now that normal Jenny is outside of the summoning pool for random fodderers anyways, Raffle Staff 3 just became rarer. I mean, you can still get it off like Loki or something, right? But actually, was it Loki? No, it's not Loki. Uh, there was another hero with it, but I'm skipping my mind right now. Anyways, and the defense opening 3. Wow, she's pretty good. Veronica, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for catching for me. Okay. So... This is actually pretty top-notch. It might seem a bit plain, but this is actually a great support hero. Defense for res plus three, those are combat buffs. Uh, defense opening on d defense plus six to the hero of the highest defense for one turn. That's pretty useful. Um, R Raffle Staff Physics Plus, those are pretty uh, ideal healer skills. And Fire Flood Bomb Plus is a nice bonus. I like the skill set here. It's, it's super simple and super nice. Now, I heard Jenny likes older men. And I'm 25, which makes me middle age. Oh my god, look at the marshmallows come out of the Lance Knight. Wait, 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 wait. Do you see what's on his head? It's literally a sandwich set with tea. That's kind of cute. Do you see how happy she is? Do you see how she's holding that skewer? Both hands on the skewer of the marshmallows. Look at her face. She's really happy right now to be killing this man with marshmallows. Man, my favorite girls are always the psychopaths. When the lollies have fun killing, there's something special about them. Look at her... T All right, top left. Look at her face. She is so happy. Wow. Something impressive about happy killer lollies. All right, last character. Off the menu. Yeah, you wouldn't really want to... Oh, my God. I just noticed. Is that squirrel running away from her? What is she even trying to do? And she has nice thighs. Man, Felicia's hot too. But Flora over Felicia. Flora Felicia, guys. Which one would you date? Would you date? Actually, no, that changes things. Which one would you marry? I would not marry Felicia. I have, I'd, I have like a decent idea that one day in old age, like she'll get me killed. Like, oh, I'm sick. She gives you medicine. Oh, now I'm dead. Wow. Wow, life passes by quickly. Neither Flora, Flora, Felicia. Wow, you guys are... Man, you guys are pretty split. I, I, I've always been of the opinion that Flora is top, top notch. All right, but yeah, the, the little animal's running away. So with everybody so far, I could look at their sandwiches and tell what they, what they're eating. But with Felicia, I can't tell. What is that? Is that like a mustard sandwich? Like, I've heard of mustard sandwiches. When you have literally nothing to put in your sandwiches. Like, you don't even have, like, Nutella or something. Nutella is, like, a premium premium spread, like, hazelnut spread. All right. Honey? No. No way that's honey. No, I, I think it's mustard. I think Felicia has that weird taste, like, she would, like, a, a pure mustard sandwich. Just pure mustard in the middle. Does that sound disgusting? Absolutely. Would Felicia like it? Probably. Anyways, her dress is pretty cute. I like how she keeps her, like, maid's, like, attire with the, with the thigh highs. The cute little skirt, the big buckle. That's so cute. Um, yeah, she's definitely dressed for uh, dressed for a picnic. I love the dress. It's it's so cute. Oh, oh my god, that's like such a cute grilled cheese. I don't think it's grilled cheese. <laughs> I don't think Japanese people really like grilled cheese. 
Guys, look at her idle animation. Wow. That is adorable. That might be the cutest chibi form I've seen so far. Man. Grilled cheese for sure. Man! No way Felicia, it's a mustard sandwich, okay? Okay. Moving on. Oh, she too, just like her sister, has an effective against beast weapon. Except hers is going to be an axe, range 1. Effective against beast foes, grants speed plus 3. Speed plus 3? Oh, that's right. Felicia's super fast, but she doesn't hit hard. Oh, she might be one of those interesting um, armored heroes. Stop of the Ricardos! God damn it! Why does Felicia do 17 damage? Because Felicia historically has low attack. But yeah, like, um, that's probably the reason. SR combat if units res is over a foe's res. Okay, same idea with res. Reduces foe's attack speed by... Attack speed, not attack defense. By 50% of the difference between stats during combat. She's probably going to outspeed her opponents really easily and, uh, and double and kill them like that. She comes with glaciers, I mean, just like her base form. Speed defense bond, 3. If unit is adjacent to ally, ground speed defense was 5 during combat. Didn't we just get... No, no, we got speed defense solo. Okay, speed defense bond is, is whatever. I believe we can get this off of um, Lolly Zura. Yeah. Whatever. I, I, I'm i pretty sure this is a free-to-play skill at this point, so that's whatever. Special Fighter 3, though, is one of the greatest skills you can get. Uh, Special Fighter 3 lets you do some crazy stuff. So if you can get access to it, it's great. Um, It was like on Brave Ephraim before. I think Brave Ephraim was the first one to get it. So Special Fighter 3 is actually a pretty rare skill. So it's super good to get. And her having it just increases her value by a ton. Close Guard 3, also a very valuable skill. I believe it's on Veronica. So yeah, those are pretty good fodder skills. But I think you would probably want to use Felicia as like anti-beast. But yeah, um, the idea here is Felicia's going to be super fast. And she's, she's going to rely on her speed to naturally double on heroes. And then just rely on constant special triggers thanks to Special Fighter 3. Special Fighter works like this. Basically, when she attacks, plus one. Um, and as long as she's like, as it okay, it's two abilities. It's basically faster cooldown and prevention of cooldown for your opponent. So it's like it's guard, and it's kind of like steady rest, basically. So that's why you can like tr just constantly trigger glaciers as long as you're fast enough to double. So, yep, super duper good. Eflin has speed defense bond. Alright, my bad, my bad. I made a mistake there. Okay. Um. I need a replay on that. I think that was the cutest. Okay. Uh. Oh. Oh, uh, that was. That's. That's too adorable. That is. That is actually just too adorable. <laughs> oh my god. What kind of attack was that? Purple stew. She can't cook, man. Alright. Anyways, what do you guys think of the banner? I am kind of torn. On one end, I like I like Flora. I like Felicia. I like Jenny. Uh Lucas seems kind of really underwhelming because he only has two skills and you basically just you can follow those two skills. But outside of that, I like the three girls quite a bit. I think Jenny's a, a is a pristine healer. Great support hero. Probably one, probably a top 5 support hero. Knowing Jenny, she's going to hit hard, so. Which helps with healing. But also gives her a better role to play. Uh, Leo, F Leo. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm never going to care about Leo. If anything, I've, I have plenty of reasons to dislike Leo. Why would you fodder Lucas? I don't think you should. It's just his two... His weapon and his personal skill are both fodderable. And... Let's be clear here. If you're going to make a defensive armored hero, you already have two choices. You got Effie, high attack, high defense, low speed, or Gwenlin, which could go for high res. So you, the chances of you needing him is kind of low. Um, and if he's not slow, I seriously doubt he's 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 going to be slow. So yeah, with that said, like chances are you probably fought him. He's going to have higher BST than Gwenlin and Effie for sure, but yeah. I'm not trying to say go fire your Lucas's. I'm just saying like the way he's set up kind of just lends himself to that. Anyways, my point is I do like the banner. I just don't like the fact that it's it's Ether Raids focused, right? You're selling heroes on the Ether Raids aspect of it. And I just I'm okay with the fact that they're getting beast um, effective against beast damage weapons already in the game. But the two heroes getting it are special heroes, so it's kind of wonky and they're personal weapons. 
I don't know. It's, it's It just feels weird. And it just feels weird to have more armor heroes who are clearly not armored. I mean, it's already a set pattern, guys. But every single time I see it, I'm just th thinking to myself, like, you know, there's a there's clearly a disconnect. So the way I imagine it is, like, IS tells the artists, like, this is the character we want you to draw. Make a spring version, picnic version of Flora, for example. And then they do it. But they're never told, like, oh, this is actually an armored hero. They're never told that. And then the people on IS's side work independently and then decide on the stats and skills. So you come out with like these huge disconnects that don't seem right at all. I don't know. It, it still bothers me. It's not a big deal, but like armor just kind of just feels like this wonky thing at this point. Anyways, this this definitely helps armor heroes in uh, ether raids defensively. So I guess we'll see if it if it actually takes over. So far, armor heroes are rare in ether raids unless it's a double Duma, in which case they basically forfeit the match, but they'll lose minimal left, so they'll take it. Winter Star just started at all, yes. Alright, this starts on the 19th, and it goes to May 19th. Thanks, Eddie, for the follow. Alright, you know what, guys? I will be summoning on this banner. The thing is, I've been thinking of summoning on the spring banner for a very, very long time. I even saved up the orbs for it. The problem with the spring banner is that the more I think about using Veronica, as cute as she is, I can't figure out where I would use her. However, anti-beast heroes, armor heroes, and the fact that with the ether raids component might seem pretty interesting to use, considering I do use uh, Duma on occasions. And I don't know, Flora and Felicia just seem real cute. I might summon on this on day one, so I, I'm, I'm definitely on board with this banner. Are you guys on board with the banner? Let me know. Anyways, uh, this does seem pretty different. I like it. And uh, good luck on the summonings, I guess.